Good morning, Admirals. I'm Lily Rubia, and I'm happy to welcome you back to another episode of Admiral TV. Today, we are going to visit a teacher classroom, get a sports recap, and get an inside look at a drama class. But first, let's see what's happening on the bluff this week. First up, next Friday is the last day of the third quarter, so make sure to check up on your averages so that you can make sure they are where you want them to be. On the other hand, today is World Compliment Day. Let's all spread some kindness by giving a compliment to a friend. That is all that's happening on the bluff this week. Now let's head over to Patterson with another episode of Admiral TV Cribs, where he's taking on Miss Snell's room. On this episode of ATV Cribs, we are here with Miss Snell. Now, Miss Snell, what are some key features about your classroom? Um, it's a brand new space, and we have new furniture, new carpet, paint, pretty cool chairs, record player, studio. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool computer lab. This is very unique from other classrooms, you know, um, like for instance, you have all these like ring lights, and then you have the carpet, which is not normal in most classrooms, Then also these unique desks. So can you tell me about those desks? Um, actually, my son and I, Garrick, built these this summer. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They'll uh, stand the test of time. So Ms. Snell, what are these computer backgrounds about? So the students work in Photoshop on the desktops, and every once in a while we have a student who likes to change the screensaver, and this is a fine photograph of Stillwell Bacon taken by Jimbo Corbett. Well, I really like this photograph. Looks nice. Now, thank you, Ms. Snell, for letting ATV Cribs look into your classroom. Thank you, Patterson. Now back to you, Lily. Now that is a sick crib. Now let's head over to Jack for this week's sports recap. What's up, Admirals? It's Jack Hicks again, here with this week's sports recap. Let's get started. Tennis had a busy week last week, and they have another one this week. Tomorrow, both boys and girls varsity have away games at T.R. Miller High School. On Wednesday, boys and girls junior varsity have games at home versus Fairhope High School. On Thursday, boys and girls varsity have games away at Houston Academy. Best of luck, tennis team. Moving on to golf, there is a boys varsity game today at Lake Forest Golf Club. A boys JV game on Tuesday against UMS Wright being held at Azalea City Golf Course and a girls varsity game on Thursday against Fairhope High School at Rock Creek Golf Club. Hit them straight, golf team. The soccer team also has a busy week this week with a girls JV game today at Mobile Christian, a girls and boys varsity game on Tuesday at home versus Cottage Hill, a boys varsity game on Wednesday at Gulf Shores, and a girls and boys varsity game on Saturday at home versus the Altamont School. Last but not least, baseball has only two games this week. A varsity game on Thursday against Alberta, and another varsity game on Saturday against St. Michael's. Good luck, baseball team. That's all the games this week, so back to you, Lily. Thanks, Jack. Be sure to come out to as many games as you can this week to show your support. Now, let's go over to Reed where he'll be t talking about drama class. Right now, I'm outside the Bayside Drama Class, where the students in the class are getting their new scenes. Let's go take a look. All right, so you're going to start. When the cycle starts, first you get assigned a partner. Then you'll get your scene. After a few weeks or so, generally depending on your previous experience with this stuff, you can get off script and perform it for Mr. Kirby. Boom. You just got hit by a truck. You're hurt bad, possibly dead. A Volkswagen van comes flying right towards you. Oh no, it's Israeli terrorists. They've got guns. Look out. Cover. Hand grenade. It's gonna blow. It's gonna blow. Very courageous. If any of this sounds cool to you, consider joining the drama class sometime while you're at Bayside. Back to you, Lily. Thanks for that information on drama class, Reed. Finally, we have an on-stage performance from the juniors of our Southern Mystique class. 